Hi, welcome to Simply Scuba. Here we have the Light and Motion Night Sea Underwater Video Light. It's a really, really cool bit of equipment. Uh, this shows underwater phosphorescent lights in all the different animals and creatures under the water that you don't see with traditional normal light. So how it works is it uses a specific blue uh, wavelength combined with the yellow filter. You've got a mask filter that comes with it or a yellow camera filter that you can buy separately and it shows that underwater um, phosphorescent and it just picks it up. So what we're going to do now is we're going to turn the lights off and we're going to show you what it looks like when you're under the water when something phosphoresces. Okay guys, so we turned the lights down low and we've also fitted the yellow filter to the camera just so you can see what actually happens um, when you're using it in the, uh, the truest sense. So, um, so right now, I've written Simply Scuba on this, uh, on this piece of paper in a, um, in a highlighter pen. Right now you can't see anything, but when you turn the light on, of course it starts to glow. So, um, so this happens with a lot of different uh, underwater animals. They've got these phosphorescent properties and they have these amazing patterns underwater that you don't see with, uh, with traditional light. Uh, but if this is the only torch that you want to bring down with you, it does also come with the, um, the filter guard. And then when you put that on, it turns that blue light into a white light. So you can use it as a conventional torch. And then change it into, uh, into the spotlight as well. Very, very handy. Okay guys, so that's how it looks in the dark underwater. When you're on the surface, it's, it just appears as a, uh, as a strong blue light and it doesn't pick up the same amount if you're not using the, uh, the yellow filter as well. If you put on the, um, the front cap that comes with it, it turns that blue light into a nice white light so you can use it as a conventional torch. Very, very handy. Uh, it's best to use it only in the water because uh, the heat sink isn't as effective on the surface. It uses the water to cool down those powerful lights. Uh, very, very simple user interface. Flick it up to activate. Keep flicking it up to change through the intensity levels and then flick it down once to change between um, spot and floodlight. So at the moment it just uses the, um, it appears as quite a powerful blue color, but um, but when you combine that with the yellow filter, it, that shows up that phosphorescent light. To turn it off, you just hold it in that single position. Very, very simple user interface. You can also lock it as well when it's um, in storage or when, you're, um, when it's in your baggage. Uh, just turning that little switch 90 degrees stops it from, um, from flicking up and down. Also comes as standard with their, um, their hand grip mount. So you grip onto the, um, to that section there this wraps around your wrist and that just gives you nice hands free motion so you can use it and you can still use your hand signals, you can still pick things up and hold other things. Rechargeable battery through these two little um, uh, nodes at the back make it very very simple to, uh, to charge it. And that's the, uh, the Light and Motion Solar Night Sea Underwater sort of UV light. Very, very cool, very handy bit of kit, just to uh, show an extra depth to, uh, to when you're under the water, all those different colors that you don't uh, normally see with normal light. If you missed my latest Sympathy Scuba Live, click on this little link up here. And as always, guys, safe diving.